Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 42. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so we are here at Euro Exotica. And we are going to be driving the Pagani Zonda C12S. First of all, is against Bill. And we are going against the Spiker C8 Spider. Let's do this. I forgot to shut my window. I can't do it now. I've started recording. Ah, unbelievable. How can you forget? Right, let's do this. Let's hope the Zonda can do much better than the uh, McLaren F1 that we tried the time before. Ended up crashing seven times, went off-road four of the times, and got an off-road penalty. In a very short space of time, in around about 3.4 miles. So yeah, not very good. Good corner there. Nice. One point seven miles, and we are so far ahead of the spiker right now. At the next intersection, turn right. Nice. That was very good. Nice. That is really good. Nice. Okay, 0 0.2 miles to go. We can see the finish line. And there we go. Winner. 1 minute 21 seconds for that. That was very good. And a 1,000 master points. Awesome. That was very, very good, actually. Right, next up is the Pagani Zonda that we're going against. So, it's going to be like for like. Except for the fact that we have uh, Stage 3 upgrades. Maybe not quite like for like, but close enough. For like for like. Like for like. There we go. Anyways, let's do this. Let's get... Oh, no, wrong button. Let's get those lights on. Perfect. It's going really well so far. Nice. 2.6 miles till the finish line. I'm going to weave in between all of the traffic in front of us. For some reason as well, uh, I'm having a lot of problems with the capture card. It keeps turning my volume down. I bet you if I was to press it now, it will do it. Okay, no, it didn't do it. Okay, fair enough. It didn't do it before, but it was automatically turning my volume down. To, um, like the third setting. It goes up to five as maximum, so that's like 60% volume. Um, and that's too quiet. Which is really annoying why it's doing it, but it's doing it. No, nope. Don't want to crash into you. Nice. Look at that. That was very good. Here we go. Come on to the finish line. There we go. Nice. One minute, 33.2. That's very good. <laughs> right, here we go. Next up is the McLaren F1. This is the normal one, not the race-modified Le Mans version. Um, but still, it's a McLaren. 
It's going to be quick. Big time quick. Right, let's do this. I do like the look of the McLaren F1. It's a very nice looking car. And we're off. In oncoming traffic. No, you're not doing that. What is that AI doing? Crazy cars. Crazy cars for crazy short races as well. Only 1.7 miles from the start to the finish. Okay, get back on the road. Nice. Whoa, okay. At the next intersection, turn right. That was a good little corner cut there. That's going to get us a lot of distance over the McLaren F1. Easily. And there's the finish line. Ta-da. We got 48 seconds on the clock there. That is very good. Come on. That is now halfway through Euro Exotica. We are now moving on to the McLaren F1 Le Mans car. Let's do this. I also, while moving around my setup, I found a really old box. Well, it's not like really old. It's like, what year? 2016. I found an old box of Fast and Furious diecast cars. And, um, well, these things are like, I think these are the Fast and Furious 6 ones. But uh, I have a feeling those will be worth quite a lot in the future. I'm not sure. But uh, imagine if I could like sell them and get myself like a million for them. They are in like mint condition as well. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, that's not great. The McLaren uh, F1 has obliterated us now. And there is no way of catching up. Just gotta hope that they crash and burn. Or we could catch up a little bit. We're actually doing all right there. Our car is a little bit quicker apparently. And definitely much better at taking corners. Oh, you're out. Bye bye. I am not sorry for that either. Absolutely obliterated them. That was good. Nice. Careful over this jump here. Needs a little bit of wall riding. Very nice. That was perfect. At the next intersection, turn left. A lot of people would say, oh no, you're wall riding, you're cheating. No, it's not cheating. Because who is it cheating? Just myself, so it's fine. As long as I, it wasn't like a multiplayer game and you were riding, then it'd be fine. As soon as you get into multiplayer and you start using like cheating tactics against others, that's like, no. Big no-no. But if you're doing it in your own game, it's fine. Not the end of the world. You're just cheating yourself. But there we go. First place, 1 minute 54.868. That is good. And 1.3 million credits total. We are loaded with money. Right, next up is the Koenigsegg CC8S. This is quite a nice car, actually. Um, I still haven't worked out what the difference between the 8S and the R is. So, hopefully we can find out now. Because uh, we got the 8S and then the... CCR, so we'll see. And we're off. It's a 1.9 mile race. That was a good first corner there. And the Koenigsegg is gone already. We've lost it. As long as we don't crash, we should be fine. Why are you swapping lanes? Why would you swap lanes? That's just a bad idea. You see a bright red Pagani Zonda heading towards you. What do you do? 
Oh yeah, switch into its lane. Well done. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Right, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. And across the line. Ta-da. 55 seconds for that one. That was good. That was very good. Right, last one is the Koenigsegg CCR. Let's do this. We got to finish it all off. And then we'll have one more club left to do. And then that'll be it. Everything done. Okay, so I can officially say there is no difference between the AS and the R. They look identical. Yeah, they are pretty much identical. What are you doing, Steve? What are you doing, AI car? And Steve's crashed! No way. We're gonna get ourselves a huge lead now because of that crash. Oh, careful. Problem solved. Corner cup. The Cunning's Egg will slow down big time for that section. At the next intersection, turn left. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Very nice. And there we go, across the finish line. We got another free vehicle upgrade. Perfect. I'll take it. I love free shit. Free stuff is amazing. And that's that done. That only took 11 minutes. So that was decent. We're going to go straight on to the next one then. No stopping. No slowing down. Just straight into the final club. Which I think has no Our restrictions. If I'm correct. Um, Where are you? You're not too far from here. Here we go. The final one. Wahiawa GTI. I think that's how you say that. Uh, and it is no vehicle restrictions whatsoever. So we could take any car we want. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Uh, that is the club there. Let's go in. Oh, that is a very fancy clubhouse for uh, any restrictions. Right, so we have choices of like McLaren F1, Zondas. There's a lot of good cars here. So, what is our... We're going to have to do it. For the final club, we're going with the Chrysler. So, first of all, we got to beat the Noble M12 GTO 3R. Let's do this. I got to win the challenge. Let's go. Right, here we go. Chrysler versus the Noble. 3.4 miles, no problem. And we're gone. The Noble is nowhere to be seen. It has been less than a mile and we have no more Noble to uh, worry about. Nice. Oh, slow down. Perfect. Nice. At the next intersection, turn left. And we've overshot the corner. We'll go this road, see if uh, we can do that. Nope. Okay, looks like we're going to have to hop, skip, and jump to the other side. 
Perfect. There we go. First race done. 1 minute 16.865. That's a good time. Five more races left to go. Come on. Come on. Let's be done. Awesome. Right, next up, Spiker C8 Spider T. Is this the same as the other Spiker that we went against in the last one? No, I don't think it is. I think it might be different. Ever so slightly. Is it? Oh no, it's a completely different car. I think. It does look different. Oh well. Let's go. Wrong button again. I tried turning my lights on so we look fancy. 4.5 miles. Let's do this. Awesome. Oh, no, 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 no. We crashed big time there. Managed to get back on though, so we didn't get too much off-road penalty. That is sort of a problem with this car, is you can go a bit too quick and uh, end up quite dramatically ruining your race. But uh, when you're on these highways with the barriers, you've got no problems whatsoever. These highway barriers are like lifesavers. Use them for wall riding everywhere. Like now. Ta-da! Oh crap. You are driving in the wrong direction. Please turn around. Was not paying attention to the mini map there. Turn right. Turn right. We got cars catching up. We got the spiker catching up. But you ain't gonna get me. Ah, uh, weaving in between traffic. I don't like. No! No! Right at the end! Unbelievable. Right at the end, we went wide. That corner. Oh, it was such a blind corner round there. Unbelievable. Wow. Not fair. Alright, come on. I think I've played too much test drive lately. <laughs> I think I'm getting a bit bored of it. Ooh. I really want to get just onto the long races. Once we've done the long races, we can finish this game. And we don't have to come back to it for another like 10 years probably. So. That is fine by me. That is not fine by me though. That crash. We've done it again. Two times in a row. Went off like that. Alright, onto the highway, go like that, then we wall ride, and then there's an instant corner right after the end of the wall ride. Keep an eye on the mini-map. There you go, see? Perfecto. Managed to get it this time, but hopefully, no going off of that section again. Or here, please. Whew. Gave me a heart attack again. Okay, this is the corner. This is tighter than you it looks on the mini map. But there we go. Across the line. Very nice. 141.991. Awesome. I'm getting hungry now. <laughs> I'm getting really hungry. I'm hungry, tired, and I want to sleep. 
Right, Forge shall be Cobra. Let's do this. <laughs> the quicker we get this done, the quicker I can eat then. That can be like motivation. Here we go, come on. Nice. Right. Oh, it's, ah, it's that one. The convertible Cobra. That's a good car. And we're off. I was worried that that car was going to crash into the back of us, but uh, apparently not, which is fine. Okay, so this is going to be a proper test of uh, straight line speed. Okay, we took that corner really well actually that time. We didn't crash, which is very surprising because uh, the past few times we've crashed on that corner. Uh, so we are now onto the highway. I'm going to keep an eye out to make sure if we have to come off at that junction again. Because uh, if we do, we have to slow down quick. But uh, hopefully it's just go straight on. It's not, we have to come off the junction. Marvellous. Oh, but we don't have to go towards the side. Uh, but we do have to go towards the side. What way are we going then? I'm lost. Okay, we're going a completely different direction. Alright, no problem. Imagine if Darude Sandstorm was in this song, in this game. That song would be banging. It would definitely suit uh, TDU too. Guaranteed. I really want that sort of like party environment from TDU too to sort of carry over to TDU Solar Crown. Like, they have to carry that over. Because otherwise, if it's not like that, it's just not going to be as fun. If they made it a festival environment, that'd be amazing. Not like Forza Horizon, though. That's not a decent festival environment. Right, three more races. That's all we've got to do now. Three more. And that is it. Come on. Right, next up is the Pagani Zonda C12S. Let's do this. Start race. Come on. Right. And we're off. 2.3 miles, is that it? Okay. Interesting. No way did the traffic car just do that. Okay, hopefully our car can catch up, but I don't think it can now. It's not that quick. We got even more off-road penalty. How, that traffic car though literally crashed me off the road. It was unbelievable. Hey, we've gone past them anyways. They're only in the Pagani Zonda. There is no way that is catching up or overtaking us at all. Nice. Okay, what is next now? We've got two more left, I think. Two more or three more? I think it might be three more. No, two more. Two more. Lamborghini Murcielago. Let's do this. Alright, come on. Let's do this. Come on. 
And we're off. 1.6 miles. This is very short. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Go, 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 go. Awesome. Oh, uh, no. Okay, across there. We're taking the shortcut. Go, go, go. There's the finish line. One more left. One more left. And then that is every single club done. Unbelievable. This is amazing. I don't think I actually finished all the clubs when I played uh, before. So, to finish all the clubs would be amazing. But the last car is the McLaren F1. Now, this car has better acceleration than us. So, it has a chance to destroy us. Depending on the type of race we have. But if we've got mostly straights, we've got this in the bag. Right, let's go. And we're off. 3.4 miles. Perfect. No. That was not good. I know the McLaren F1 LM car only has a top speed of about... 205, I think. Uh, but then again, it is an LM car, so it doesn't need to go any faster than that. For what it was designed for. Now, we are destroying this McLaren. We need something better. Nice. Oh, not very good. Ah, oh, this is it. The final stretch of the clubs. This is going to be it. The clubs fully completed. Come on. We're nearly there. Do we get an extra car? I wouldn't... Oh, shit. Where are we going? Ah, it's over there. All right. I would presume we get a car, but maybe not. No, just a vehicle upgrade. Okay, fair enough. Is there one for completing all the clubs? No. Okay. That's asking for too much now. But look at that. We are done. No more. That is it. Hang on, let's have a look. Is it every single club done? Let's double check. Uh, on to the mini map. Or the big map, actually. Let's have a look. So that is all these clubs down here done. Clubs down here. Clubs in the middle done. The one on the side. Up to the north. They are all done. And there's no more to unlock. Very, very nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Like I could spend my wings and fly